we have to construct a multiplication table for an equilateral triangle. The group constructed by the symmetrical operations of an equilateral triangle belongs to D3 type, dihedral group. The symmetrical operations involved in an equilateral triangle include identity operation E, 120 degree rotation that is C3, 240 degree rotations that is C32 and the three reflections sigma 1, sigma 2 and uh, sigma 3. To know more about these operations, just to see this diagram, this is an equilateral triangle, 1, 2 and 3 are the three sides. In the case of identity operation, if you do nothing, the symmetrical structure, that is identical structure is arrived. There is no change in the points. Then this is our C3 operation. C3 stands for 120 degree rotations. If you allow an equilateral triangle for 120 degree rotation in the anticlockwise direction about the vertical axis, these points are shifted to one position in the anticlockwise direction. See, one is reaching this point, 2 is reaching this point and 3 is reaching this point. In the anti-clockwise direction, these points are shifted to one position. So, this is a newly arrived uh, triangle. This triangle is equivalent to this one. So, C3 is a symmetrical operation. The next symmetric operation is C32. Here, we have to perform 240 degree rotations in the anti-clockwise direction. Here, these points are shifted to two positions in the anticlockwise directions. So, this is a newly arrived structure. And in the case of uh, sigma 1 operation, the reflection is performed through the first median. In this case, this point is kept constant, these points are interchanged. This is sigma 2 reflection reflection through the second median is carried out here this point is fixed these two points are interchanged this is sigma 3 operation here the reflection is performed through the central median so the point 3 is fixed these two points are interchanged so these are all the six fundamental symmetrical operations just uh, written all the operations in terms of a row and in terms of a column now you have to multiply e into e that is e, e into c3, c3, e into c3 square, c3 square, e into sigma 1, sigma 1, e into sigma 2, sigma 2, e into sigma 3, sigma 3. Now come to this column, c3 into e, c3, c3, 2 into e, c3, 2, sigma 1 into e, sigma 1, sigma 2 into e, sigma 2, sigma 3 into e, sigma 3. So that there is no problem in the case of a first row and first column. Now we have to fill up the rest of the elements. Now multiply C3 into C3, that is C3 square. C3 into C3 square is C3 cube. C3 cube is our identity element because if you carry out continuous 120 degree operations, that is rotation in an equilateral triangle for three times, we can get the identical structure. That is our E. See this. If you allow this triangle for 120 degree, we are harvesting this. For two time operation, we are getting this. Once again, if you allow this for 120 degree operation, then the point comes to this position, 3 comes to this position, 1 comes to this position. That is our identity element. Therefore, C3 into C3 square is our E. Then what is the value of C3 into sigma 1? 
this is C3 operation and further sigma 1 operation is carried out for the resultant triangle. Sigma 1 operation means reflection through the first median. Here the point 3 is fixed, these two points are interchanged. The structure is similar to sigma 2, which means that if you perform sigma 2 operation in an equilateral triangle, that is equivalent to the product of C3 into sigma 1. The product of these two operations is equal to the sigma 2 operation of an equilateral triangle. So, C3 into sigma 1, C3 into sigma 1 is our sigma 2. Then C3 into sigma 2 in the same manner go through this C3 into sigma 2. C3 operation means 120 degree rotation in the anti-clockwise direction that gives shifting of these points to one position left. This is the newly arrived triangle. Then sigma 2 means reflection through the second median. Then this point is fixed. These two points are interchanged. So the newly arrived structure is equivalent to sigma 3 operation which means that the product of these two operations is equivalent to performance of sigma 3 operation in the original triangle. So that C3 into sigma 2, C3 into sigma 2 is our sigma 3. Then C3 into sigma 3, C3 into sigma 3 is our sigma 1. And C3 square into C3 2 is our C3 power 4. This is C3 cube into C3. Already we proved that C3 cube is our identity element E. So E into C3 is C3 that is equal to C3. That means C3 square into C3 square is C3. Then C3 square into sigma 1. After completion of C3 square that means if you rotate this triangle through 240 degree in the anti-clockwise direction about to this vertical axis these points are shifted to two positions in the anti-clockwise direction one is coming to this point two is reaching this point and three is coming to this point so this is our c3 2 rotation then perform sigma 1 that is uh, reflection through the first uh, median and this point is fixed these two points are interchanged then the newly arrived structure is sigma 3 Therefore, the product of two operations provides the single operation of single sigma 3 operation of this uh, equilateral triangle. Then sigma 3 square into sigma 2 is sigma 1. Sigma uh, C3 2 into sigma 3 is sigma 2. Sigma 1 into C3 is sigma 3. Sigma 1 into C3 2 is Sigma 2. Sigma 1 into Sigma 1 is identity element. Sigma 1 into Sigma 2 is our C3 2. Sigma 1 into Sigma 3 is C3. Sigma 2 into C3 is Sigma 1. Sigma 2 into C3 2 is Sigma 3. Sigma 2 into Sigma 1 is our C3. Then finally, sigma 3 into sigma 3 is our sigma 3 square that is our identity element uh, E. In this way, the multiplication table is constructed.